Hello and welcome to this tip of the week video where I'm going to be showing you some of the new features of the generation 2 of the water cooling kit for all 8200 series sharpeners. So you'll notice now if you've looked at older units the tray is now yellow. We decided to change the color of the water tray to brighten up the machine and give you a little bit more reflection to be able to see the blade and have more contrast while working. The next thing we did is this tray used to be only 20 inches deep. We've now increased it by quite a bit. It is now 32 inches overall, giving you much more distance to catch any stray dripping while sharpening blades. And just to give you some perspective for how much bigger the tray got, I've got here one of the new ones and here one of the old ones. And I'll kind of hold this over the other so you see how much more distance you get on both sides to prevent that dripping off of the blade while sharpening. A couple new real neat changes about the tray along with its greater size going from that 20 inches to 32 inches is you can see here there's a bend line. We actually now have a stamped drain line, one on both sides, directing fluid to the drain hole. The next neat thing is you'll notice here that we have seamless corners. In the older version, there was a support that was screwed in and it had to be caulked. We now have fully seamless corners on the tray. And here I'll hold up, you can see again the seamless corner versus the open corner that required caulking. Another difference from the old version where we had welded on the tube, we've gone to using our same welded inlet on all of the water cooled systems. This is the same inlet that's used on the dust collectors and the bottoms of grit guards if you would have a dry unit. Here I'll hold up the new tray again where you can see these bend lines that we put in to help all the water flow to the drain hole. Another great improvement with the increased size of the water tray is we also made the side guards taller as well as wider to catch any other stray splashing while sharpening. Both sides got larger, and just to give you a perspective, this is how big they were before. They were shorter and far smaller. Now we have the machine turned around so you're seeing the back side of the machine or the approach for left-handed blades. We have this large splash guard on the back of the unit to prevent any splashing when you're doing a right-handed blade. Now the older guard looked a little similar, but it was a bit more captive because of these bends. It took a little bit to pull it off. So this third splash guard has a magnet mounted here, and this top lip sits on top of the grit guard, and the magnet holds off of this side of the splash guard, boxing this area out so you're not getting any splashing when you're sharpening a right-handed blade. Now you may see we've got these rounded surfaces cut into this piece of steel and that is so the liquid can drain back. If the liquid were to get and drain on the outside of here, it allows it a way back to the drain. So now we have the machine turned back around for the right-handed blade view, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about that splash guard I just showed you. The magnetic one from the back, unlike the old style, this one can actually be turned around and used on the front side of the machine as well. So if you're a user with more left-hand sharpening, you also get a splash guard, which the old one was not reversible. So another really kind of cool innovation that we put in this splash guard that it's reversible for both sides. And again, we have the relief or these little serrations so liquid can flow back to the drain. Well, I hope you enjoyed that closer look at some of the new neat improvements we've made over the water cooling system for all 8200 series sharpeners. And just to note, anybody that has an existing water cooled unit, if you would like the larger tray, we will be offering the tray 
and the new larger splash guards, which will all just be able to bolt in place to your existing system. You won't need a new tank or any other components. It would just be the sheet metal parts of the tray and the three splash guards. And of course, all new water-cooled units will be getting the newer generation two water-cooled system. I certainly hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content.